This is your diamond insight for tonight of the Democratic Party's zero vote. While it is possible that a candidate in an election can obtain zero votes at a polling station, it raises serious debate and points to dire implications when this happens at a place from where a contestant voted. Therefore, this calls for the Electoral Commission of Zambia to investigate the matter and come up with an explanation so that the electoral process is not soiled. We're talking about the Democratic Party candidate in the Kawata by election, Fred Mwanga, who claims he obtained zero votes from the polling station he and his family cast their votes from. While it is understandable that family members can't vote for a blood relative, depending on affiliation, it is stranger than fiction that a participant in an election can opt to vote for a competitor. We have ruled out the votes of family members because Zambia's electoral system is by secret ballot and only the voters expected to know how they mark the ballot paper. This leaves Mr. Mwanga to take on the Electoral Commission of Zambia to account for his ballot paper, which he claims he marked in his favor. We are making this challenge because the Democratic Party went through sleepless nights to have a candidate on the ballot paper. The first attempt in the Kawata by-election ended in failure because the factions in the party could not agree on a candidate. Then came a leaked audio of suspected senior government officials plotting against the DP so that it fails to fill the candidate. Therefore, Kawambwa polling station at Liwala Secondary School in Lusaka is on trial as this is the place from which Mr. Mwanga voted. It would be interesting to interview Mr. Mwanga's election monitors in the polling station and also the Electoral Commission of Zambia officials assigned to conduct the poll at Kawambwa station. But this again does not explain how Mr. Mwanga voted as the electoral laws do not permit the flashing of a marked ballot paper before slipping it into a ballot box. This will however point to valid and rejected ballot papers at Kawambwa polling station. If Mr. Mwanga who obtained 124 votes wants to legally pursue this matter, then he can refer to Article 73 of the Constitution to rest in and petition the election victory of UPND's Andrew Tayangwa as the Kawata Member of Parliament. Clause 1 of Article 73 states and we quote that a person may file an election petition with the High Court to challenge the election of a Member of Parliament if an election petition shall be heard within 90 days of filing of the petition and a person may appeal against the decision of the High Court to the Constitutional Court. Equally, the Electoral Commission of Zambia should not rest as their credibility at the moment is being questioned. How just can a candidate participating in an election get zero at a polling station where they voted from? How can one honestly invest in a campaign where they vote for somebody else and not themselves? That indeed is a baffling question that needs an answer in the Kabwata by-election zero saga.